Street Food. Welcome to Street Food, new snacks every Friday. As I've mentioned before, Xi'an is famous for its history, so I figure it's probably about time we get off campus and check out probably one of the most prominent features of the downtown landscape, Zhonglou, aka the Bell Tower. My friend Summer was supposed to go with us, but her tutor gave her weekend duty at the last minute. Come on, Summer's tutor. It's okay, you guys will meet Summer another time. The Bell Tower isn't the exact geographical center of the city, but it's close enough. It sits right at the main intersection of the city. North Street, South Street, East Street, West Street, they all initiate from the Bell Tower. The Bell Tower was built during the Ming Dynasty. The downtown area now is pretty metropolitan, but back then it was almost all farmland, so the Bell Tower dominated that whole area. There's some funny legends about the construction of the Bell Tower. One in particular involves the good guys trapping a dragon with a giant chain and burying him under the Bell Tower in order to prevent earthquakes in Xi'an. But the actual purpose of the Bell Tower was to keep time. That's right, you're looking at a giant 900 year old clock. You might think that seems like a lot of trouble to go through just to keep time, but that's how the Ming Dynasty rolls. Well, that's how they rolled in the past. They no longer roll. Anyway, they'd ring the bell at certain times of the day to, you know, people around would know what time it was. The bell tower is pretty impressive from a distance, but up close there's also a lot of attention to detail. It's full of wooden relief carvings with descriptions. Searching plum blossom after big snow. Tao Tian loves chrysanthemum. Unsuccessful visit to a hermit, setting crane free to alert hermit. There's a few museums inside the tower, and they even have a traditional Chinese music show, which is pretty cool. Hmm, that cheap house making me hungry. To the snack! Doesn't that count as a street snack? I'm in the street! The actual snack. Niego! Niegao is made from glutinous rice flour. They form it and they put it on a skewer and then they basically just grill it on the street. The savory one they'll dip in the usual gravy and spice. I prefer the savory one to the sweet one, but they're both pretty good. The outside's pretty crispy, a little tough, and the inside's really soft. A mass of glutinous rice on a skewer. They fry it on the street right next to these hot dogs. More like not dogs. We're gonna have to work our way up to those, okay? I don't want to die of an intestinal parasite four episodes into my series. Niego. Excellent. Unfortunately, Ash is not a fan. So, bonus snack. You know, because we, we usually just do one. Tiaguo, which just means fruit sandwich. It's basically two Chinese pancakes and you can get your choice of filling in the middle. They make some sweet Chinese pancakes on the street. Actually, they're very similar to Western pancakes. They're fluffy, they're light and sweet. Tastes like two pancakes with some chocolate in the middle. They apply the filling with a brush and unfortunately, in this case... What is that? Hair? <laughs> Be careful, y'all. Replacement bonus snack! These little guys are called dan ta. It's interesting that she called it dan ta because that actually means egg tart. And these are nothing like traditional Chinese egg tarts. These are really interesting. They're fried. They look like biscuits, and there's a fried egg on the inside. She pours some batter into a mold, breaks an egg in it, pours some more batter. She adds a little oil as needed. It's a nice, greasy snack. But we also saw... We definitely just saw a guy get hit by a car. It's a minor. But the driver got out and was like, why are you in my way? The dude was like, I'm just walking here. Of course, I have to interpret all this. I can't speak Chinese. But... I saw the whole thing. The bell tower is really cool. It's a historical treasure. But there's actually a treasure buried beneath the history. Boom! That's a metaphor. There's a pedestrian tunnel system beneath the bell tower, which, by the way, includes an ad for a McDonald's sandwich, which may or may not have mashed potatoes on it. What? But here's what we're looking for. The import store. Soy milk, blocks of cheese. Believe it or not, this is actually the closest place to our campus that we know of where we can buy cheese. So the bell tower is a treasure in more ways than one. Plus three snacks. If you've tried these or anything within their respective ballparks, post your thoughts. Till next time, eat it on the street. Watch out for the parasites. Also watch out for the chocolate hairballs, because street food keeps it real. Street food.